Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Epicenter. Tonight, on Thursday, August 12th, 2021. Welcome to Epicenter. Your home for gaming news updates. There's a highlight. If there's a clip, if there's a keyboard, we're probably talking about it. And my name is Mikey. Joined in the producer booth, as usual, by my boy Sawyer and my man, Adam Eunice. And, uh, you know... Gotta say, shout out to the bottom line, which debuted today. I'm wearing my Braylon jersey today. Uh, shout out to that show, 2 to 4 p.m., doing fantastic work there. And Jenna Newman, yo, what up, though, Jenna? How you doing? She's the most loyal supporter of this network, man. She's yeah, the dude, best. Thanks. Hopping on quick today. She hopped on, yeah. She was the first. She beat out everybody, even like our day one. Shout like, out Brandon, too, in the chat. Our boy hey. Brandon. Let's go. Love to see it, man. Thank you for the support, guys. But we got a lot to talk about. You know, Madden 22 demo dropped tonight, and it was it, it was interesting, yeah, to say the least. Lot lot to cover on that end, and then uh, Call of Duty, are they getting into anti cheat? We'll figure that out. And then GTA boys, we got a new GTA coming out finally. But first, we gotta wait because we got our top ten coming up right now, starting with number ten, Felix the Mantle, just. Throwing a bomb and oops, oops, getting that pick six for, oh, oh. another lateral. Oh yep. no, Flossy. not this cheese. Also, oh. howdy, PR. Hello, AW. A N W. Quality uh, root beer. How's my boy Baskin Robbins doing tonight? Oh, so good. Number nine, COD Cold War, Champion Baby, going on a rampage with weapons, in one my favorite map, one of my favorite maps of all time, Nuketown. Oh yeah, there's a classic. Never, never understood why I was so... Oh, my gosh. Brandon Get wants out. to know if it's the same old Madden. Brandon, you will find out. It's, it, it's interesting. You want to stay tuned, man, because it's actually hilarious how bad Madden is this year. Like, yeah. It's funny. Yeah. It's a meme now. Number eight, CSGO. Gem Rain, 1023. A little quick. A little... little uh, hello. Uh, what would you like for your order? A little three-piece, please. Oh, yeah. Fries on the side. Make it snappy. And a large Coke. Boom. Boom. Knock him down. There we go. Number seven, GTA 5, Loopmeister. Uh, you know, sometimes you run out of ammo, you can't afford any bullets, but when you have a helicopter, or whatever the heck this thing is, I believe it's called an Osprey, uh, just use that. Yeah. <laughs> you just know trucks I mean? the dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how you can see that he's do in the middle of a mission right now. And so he, he just got way off track. Yeah. Our boy STW uh, said, I will not stand for the mockery of my dumb moniker. Mikey is now Mark. <laughs> What's up, Mark? How you doing? Number six, Apex Legends. Jaws the Shark Bite. <laughs> what a name. Yeah. I think it is Shark Week this week, too, actually. We're on theme. Oh, I love Shark Week. Yeah, Shark Week is amazing. I think that was last week, too. Shark isn't weak. Shark is strong. <laughs> Just fish are friends, boom. not food. Yeah, fish is a great friend. And food. <laughs> our, shout out to our boy Fish on every show but ours. Love to have him here. Number five, Pro Hickey 92 coming in with a goalie goal. Yeah, that one confused me, that name. Yep. I was kind of taking it pro as hockey. pro hockey. Oh, yeah. I, I have dyslexia. <laughs> but he just spelled it so funky, you know? I He's know. just having a good time with it. Pro hockey. Yes. It's a German name. Look at that. Wearing the Bruins jerseys, just slashing it. First of all, this is a penalty in real life. Yeah. This is a definitely a penalty. Scores. Number four, Rocket League. Shark Galaxy. So, is he going? Oh! Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, I thought you still oh! missed. Oh! <laughs> That's just the ultimate fake out right there. How do you the get the ball to out? stop on a dime like that? Like, wow. Yeah, oh. dude, that's so impressive. What was he planning to do there? Like, he was going to hit it in the net. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the, the other dude was just hoping for a misdirect. That yeah. was like, terrifying. Like, pinch it off the back of him, but <laughs> that fake was just supreme. Oh, my gosh. Number three, Valorant. Warren X, Waller X. Clutches up. He's the last one alive. Benjamin in the chat asks, 2K rating predictions for Cade. 81. 79. 76. Ooh, damn. Okay. 
Yeah, he's a rookie. Yeah, he's a rookie. Yeah, he's a rookie. Yeah. He'll get up there. We don't know how we'll play yeah. against the competition. Okay. So, number two, FIFA. As uh, Eddie Olchek would say, I used to love this call in hockey games. One timer! Dude, that was a miss. That was clean. Wow. Was that off his head, too? I think it was a kick. Yeah, I think he booted it. A strong right foot. Oh, Boom! Yeah. It was a kick. Dude, top it. left corner, too. Jeez. I'm disgusted. Back when I was grinding FIFA, that would have been what dreams were made of. Yeah. But I haven't played that game in so long. Oh, yeah. And then lastly, 2K, Rel 13 PS4. Tells us everything we need to know. Uh, he bangs the game-winning three. With Kobe, splash, splash. Ooh. Dude, he's got the row shocker celebration. Yeah, he just too. walked out. He yeah. just walked into the court. Streams over. He had like a delayed reaction too. I know. It might have been like a like a latency. I don't know what. Yeah, it, was, it could but... be latency, but he was like, watch this. Oh, cool. that's clean. That was it, though. We had a ton of sendings today. Uh, most of our clips have been sendings this week, so really thank you for sending those in. So make sure to check us out if you want to send some clips. IG, Twitter, whatever you need to go to, at Epicenter WSN, and then we also have uh, Sawyer at WoodwardSports.com as an email you can send those to. When we come back, as we alluded to earlier, Madden 22 demos are out, and they're better than ever, so stay tuned here, Woodward Sports. Bridge Street Exchange, downtown Fenton, I'm trying to find me a shirt. Ooh, look at these swimming shorts. What are you doing over there, Stick? I'm trying to find me a drink. Uh, ooh, look at these bonfire bitters. Ready for summer. Let's go. What up? We are back in Epicenter, and it's time to talk Madden, boys. Uh, the demos are out, and it is ridiculous what this game, the capabilities of Madden, the every year Madden sets out to go, how can I amaze our viewers? How can they be transfixed with great things? And then they fail repeatedly. And we just have so much to react to. Starting with this clip, this guy tweets out, this is just further proof Madden is scripted BS. Don't buy it. Look at this. You know that, okay. Uh, I don't remember doing that in any professional football. So, picks up the block, gets pushed back. He does like a Michael Jackson type thing. <laughs> he just gets knocked springs over. back up. Dude, what the heck was and that? This is a Madden so 22 bad. gameplay. I believe so. It just it just fathoms me like doesn't fathom me how they don't fix these problems. It's like, so that bad. That shouldn't be a thing. It doesn't even look like Dak Prescott really. <laughs> Nobody looks like who they yeah. are in this game. No. All those blank numbers on the sidelines? Yeah. It's ridiculous, man. What do you guys think you're pulling? And, okay, so you've played in games before where you've been blowing a guy out, right? And you're like, I feel like I'm playing against, like, no defense, right? Like, you're like, man, everything I run, this guy can't guard. Um, imagine actually playing against no defense, though. So he's just uh, out there. And, uh... Oh, coach forgot the playbook at home, huh? Oh, ah, I don't want to do that. Ah. Look at that. <laughs> Not like some seven on seven with no defense. So a seven on blank or 11 Boom. on blank. Absolute missile over the defenders. Dude, and he what caught a snag. It. You know what we're not talking about is how unrealistic that catch was. What do you mean? That was under pressure. He was smothered by that defender. I know. I, I mean, to pull out like that. but <laughs> They were playing the Eagles, so that was pretty realistic. No, no defense, defense <laughs> and it just drops in, and he catches it like that, and yeah. he just holds it. Like, come on, man. You, I'm wearing the Braylon jersey. I couldn't do that. Like, dang, dude, that's crazy. Uh, and then, you know Tom Brady, known for his speed. His mom has petitioned the NFL many, many times uh, to actually hire his speed rating. Have you, have you seen that, like, from a couple years ago? I haven't. She tweeted or put out a statement. She's like, my son Thomas is actually pretty fast, <laughs> and he deserves to be in the game, and his speed is bigger than a 44. So who knew that you could actually uh, run faster with Tom Brady by celebrating? Look at that. Turns on the Jets when he's celebrating, doing a little dance. That's so dumb. What? Let's watch this a couple times. It was like running like an old man, and then he starts celebrating, and he picks up about five yeah. miles yeah, an like hour. He's running normal, but then when he brings the ball up. He's like a burst of energy. Yeah, like way up to high. He's like, oh, I can do this all day. So why not? <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, and then coaching trees, 
they came out with coaching trees. I was, as a fan of the series, you know, 2K5, we always talk about. Madden 08 had coaching trees. Coaching trees are vital to football. I mean, Sawyer and I, we both played in high school. Like, you have a coach for everything in Madden. And the fact that, you know, or everything in football, you have D-line, O-line, uh, safeties, uh, you know, linebackers, quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, even O-line coaches, defensive coordinators, offensive coordinators. Why am I listing these things? Because each and every one of them are very important. The Lions have Dan Campbell, Aaron Glenn, and that one other dude. And so why not put that much attention into the game, right? No. It's Brian Flores and a bunch of random people on the, cow- on, on the Dolphins, which, come on, man. That's just lazy. So that's lazy. so lazy. I don't care about the NFL PA. I don't care about any of that. That's nuts. Like, you're going to put something in and then not even give full effort when how, – how much longer would that have taken? Not at all. Yeah, no. not, not at all. Just, just a code in a computer with a bunch of coach names. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so whack. Yeah. And then <laughs> some people – you know, you guys are mad when you like write a review on Yelp. Like you're really pissed. You're like, I cannot believe that this service was this bad. I everyone has the same voice to me. Tom Brady's mom, us, whatever. <laughs> but like you're like, I'm writing a review about this. So some guy even took to Madden customer service to figure out when he could play the demo. <laughs> he goes, uh, I would actually like to inform you that you need to wait for sometimes as it actually varies country to country. Uh, he goes, No, I'm on the east coast of the USA. Do you have an estimate for the time? EA says, uh, the particular time has not been disclosed yet, but you need to wait for some time. The moment it will launch for you to get the option pre-download. Okay, thanks, Rhea. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, the end killed me. <laughs> the end killed question, me. question, did she respond after that? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Shoot your shot, bro. Shoot your shot. <laughs> As well, man. <laughs> He's just trying to get himself a free copy man. of Madden 22. Just playing man. his cards. Man was down tremendously. Imagine. That's just sad. <laughs> oh. I mean, shoot your shot any chance you get. You know what I'm saying? What did, what, what did MJ say? Oh, our you boy Harrison. You missed 100% of the shots you don't take? Yeah, our boy Harry. He goes, currently doubting early access as we speak. Harry, mm. man, actually, if you could play that, and if you want to come on the show tomorrow, like VMix in and talk about it, like, definitely do. Like, that'd be sweet. If Or whenever you get the game downloaded. Like, Seriously, hit us up because we want you to be a part of that and involve you in it if, you're, if you so choose. So just let us know in the comments if you'd like to come on and talk about it. But it got me thinking, man. All the, the community hates Madden. Like, it's so obvious just from the freaking like, early access demo, whatever you want to call it. It's not a good game. They didn't put any effort into it. The coach trees suck. Everything they put it that was in-depth is not in-depth. Think about a, 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 a simpler time, Madden 16, when they did this to Ultimate Team players. They sent them two copies of the game before anyone else. That's so, so sick. That's so dope. Imagine being a company that actually does that. Costs little to nothing to you to do that, and it just makes everyone so happy. Mm-hmm. That would make my year. Yeah, so you could have two trash games instead of one. I know. <laughs> I think that, that it like negates itself. Like one, one trash game and one trash game makes one good game. It could be. I know. Or they gave 50% effort on each, so they have a game that has 100% of the effort. <laughs> I mean, that, that was an interesting, interesting thing. And we all know how in Detroit we love our man. Like I mentioned earlier, the coaching trees. Dan freaking Campbell. M- MCDC, this guy's electric. Like, I love him. Like, he is, he is my, my man. Um, he has a caffeine addiction that would scare most people. Uh, just the absolute dude. Loves kneecaps. The whole nine yards. Like, no pun intended. He is the man. Um, but Madden, oh, my God. Like, Madden, what did Madden just do to him? Woodward Sports put out this tweet. And oh, God. this is Dan Campbell and Madden. <laughs> That's so bad. This is Dan Campbell and Madden. Oh my God. What the hell is that? Yeah. Shout they out to like whoever 45 that pounds picture. onto him, too. He's not that yeah. fat of a guy. Oh, my God. They, Dude, they doesn't just, even look like that. They just yeah. hoed him. <laughs> they, I think uh, our, boy, uh, our boy Kool-Aid put it best. He said they, they made decaf Dan Campbell. Literally. That's him without coffee. That is so bad. Um, so he actually only politely asks for a sample of kneecaps and instead of biting off kneecaps. And then uh, he's only allowed to drink decaf choppy or hot chocolate, which he then has to ask his parents first for. So I mean, he looks like that type of guy. I know. He's on that. It looks so like he bad. uses public libraries. Mm. He like, shushes people at the library, too. He's yeah. one of those people. He's one of those guys at the movie who takes his socks off. Mm. Spams the lunk alarm yes. at Planet Fitness. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you have a big water jug, he just smacks it. Yes. <laughs> I actually had a funny experience with the lunk alarm at Planet Fitness one time. Um, they get you? They got me a couple times. So Ooh. I was doing a lat pull down, or I was doing a lat machine. And I was doing this, like, you know, you, you do it. And it banged once. Like, it was a lot of weight, and I was like 
15 or something. I, it was oh. doing a lot of weight. It banged once. Woo! Every time I went back, it ba the lung alarm went off. So I actually, I eventually said, man, fuck these people. I just started doing it on purpose. I wonder who was actually watching me. Like, oh, it banged too hard. Lunk yeah, alarm. you know there's actually like, a button on that? It's crazy. There's actually Yeah, a, there's a button. My cousin worked there. It's like under the desk, a mm -hmm. security button. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a bank. It's like, they're, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. The weight's He's big. He's groaning too loudly. Some dude with a cutoff just walked in. <laughs> Smack it. Oh shit, they're one of our sponsors. Anyway, um, next. <laughs> Planet Fitness is fun. That's just the lunk alarm idea. I'm going there after tonight. That's just the one <laughs> thing. I am going there after the tonight. Alarm idea. Anyway, but, I mean, it is great. It's a great gym for if you're starting out and you need a gym to get used to and get comfortable with. I, I went to Planet Fitness for a lot of my early fitness career, and now mm -hmm. I, I went to a different gym and just decided to go to a different place. But yeah, definitely check out Planet Fitness, man. Yeah. It is it is phenomenal. It's a great gym to attend. Um, that is that is what I gotta say, Eunice. Don't you agree? Yeah, all jokes aside, it is my favorite gym. Okay. They have a lot yeah. of things I like there. And it's mm -hmm. like it's super accessible too, because you go to Powerhouse and some of those other gyms, mm -hmm. and those people are like legit bodybuilders there. Yeah. So yeah. it is very intimidating if you're not like a big weightlifter or anything. But Planet Fitness does very much so embrace the open mindset yep. of just mm -hmm. being able to get in there, get fit, so get your work done. All three of us doing a live read tonight. Yeah. Anyway, maybe we should start doing this. Yeah. Remember how I said GTA GTA was back? GTA is back, boys. They're making a new GTA, except it's a remaster. GTA 3. I'm still hyped for it. Vice City and San Andreas all remastered and due out this fall. I'm really excited, too. And it's going to be on the Unreal Engine, which uh, we've talked about this before on the show. Mm -hmm. The capabilities of that thing are endless. Endless. I don't know if it's going to be a real remaster or just like a 4K upgrade. I really hope it's like an actual remaster. Mm -hmm. What they said was actually um, to be a mix of new and old graphics. Okay. So I'm thinking like they're probably gonna make everything kind of look the same, um, you know, it, it may look the same, but you know, a car might not be as boxy or something. Like I, yeah. I would enjoy that. Like in Vice City, the steering wheel was like a pentagon because they couldn't do like circles. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, we get a real steering wheel. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing it as like they're taking the animation style from back then and they're just upgrading it yep. to yeah. what it should be now. Mm -hmm. So it'll still kind of have that like similar look, like you were saying, Mike. But yep. then it'll. Just look new and crispy and yeah, polished fun. up. Yeah. yeah, it's like an antique. You put a little like polish on it. Because those games are borderline like unplayable at this point. Like how dated yeah. they oh, look. Oh jeez, mm -hmm. oh they're so bad. Yeah, like, like a, disgusting. A car will spawn in like five meters ahead of you because mm -hmm. it can't render it. Render it in. Yep. And our, our boy Harrison pointed it out. They haven't made GTA since 2013. Think about that. I was 12 years old, Harrison. I was 12. I was in the sixth grade. That's great. Sixth, that's seventh insane. grade. Me and Eunice were like that. Just ages it. Sawyer's a little older than us. He was in high school, but like, we were in middle school. Like this is just ridiculous. Uh, but hey, I'm actually gonna do it. Uh, it's being made by Rockstar Scotland, so I uh, I guess everyone's gonna be wearing kilts. I'm not too sure. Um, I actually have never played any of these GTAs. You haven't played any of them? No, I played five, but I didn't play three Vice City or San Andreas. Yeah, out of those, I've I didn't play three. I played Vice City and San Andreas. Okay. I will be buying this, and I hate that I'm do doing it, but I am. Oh, yeah, no. You definitely don't need to go that, through the story. Don't hate that yeah. you're doing it. You have to go through the story. Love that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Even though it's great. old, the storylines are, are amazing. Yep. Anyway, we got Call of Duty. Um, speaking of things that we like and things that we don't, uh, they're finally getting an anti-cheat. So Tom Anderson says a new anti-cheat system will be implemented in the Warzone very soon in this tweet. Uh, and he just, that's literally what he said. Yep. The same system will be implemented into Warzone. And he goes, y'all made me tweet again over uh, spelling, misspelling same. And <laughs> with the Jonah Hill uh, gif, gif, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But this, here's the tweet mm -hmm. reply that got me really interested. Yeah. It says, yo, we need some Vanguard type stuff, like which is Valorant's anti-cheat. Yeah. Spying on everybody's PCs mm -hmm. and insta-banning kids. Activision, Google, and social media already trace what people do anyways. So having an invasive anti-cheat wouldn't do anything new. I mean, what do you guys think? I Honestly, with how much we are being tracked now, yeah, like they know everything about Why us. Why not? So like, yeah, what do you think of this? Yeah. I mean, it works the best to have it like downloaded on your hard drive to prevent any cheating. So that's what they should do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah just, but you might as well just know. Because yeah. like they said, Google already knows what websites we already go to and yeah. everything. What's one other company yeah. doing what's Apple yeah. knows they already everything know everything about us, about us. Yeah. might as so. well let's go deep in it yeah I'm totally in agreement with you guys like why not just invade everyone like at this point like seriously mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Why not do it? <laughs> but I did see the anti cheat might be dropping alongside Vanguard. Ooh. Mm. So we might have to wait a little bit yeah. until we see that. Yeah. But hey, if you're a hacker, get out there and yeah. get yeah. hacking until it's gone. Have oh, a yeah. Yeah. There's only a few have months like a left. Last hurrah. Boost up that KD while you can. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah. And make then, a couple more streamers quit and play Apex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's that brings me to our question is like, is this because Apex is starting to kind of win the battle of best like shooter game right now. I'd say so. They yep. they're finally starting to lose money, I think, or mm-hmm. or dwindle down on their profits. Less than 5.2 mil a day. <laughs> yeah. So I so yeah, that that has to be the reason why. What do you think, Sawyer? Yeah. I totally agree. They I bet having like the squad of Tim the Tatman and Mercs really being vocal about how bad it is. Mm-hmm. They're like, "Oh, we actually need to try because we're losing like big money and yeah. big influencers who are playing our game." So, that's what I see and It'll come around yep. in a year or so whenever Vanguard comes out. I what, agree. four months, six months? So, and we'll there, see. there was a job posting on Indeed by Call of Duty specializing for somebody to come in and work on an anti cheat. Oh, so that's big news. Saucy. That's big news. Saucy. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> when we come back, though, we got some saucy questions about, you know, the boys are going to be talking. And one of the things is think about this on the break. You got three people in a party chat. You get your favorite game. You get a party chat. Three people are in it. Who are you picking? Public figures, famous people, dead or alive. Who you want? We'll be here. We'll sports. Tony is a third generation logger that has a simple, practical approach to life and work. That's why his Coast DX342 knife is perfect for him. The stainless steel blade is rust resistant and made for all weather use and the double roll lock safety ensures that it will never inadvertently close when he doesn't want it to. That's why Coast is trusted tough. Yo, welcome back. We are in the building, as obviously, uh, because we're in the building, and you love to see it. But when we come back, we're here. Yes. Sorry, my screen was malfunctioning. I was like, what's going on? But... We got the first question of the night, boys. What game makes you rage quit the most? Like, just ruins your day. And you just keep going back to it and playing it. Probably Madden. You play Madden still? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, not, yeah, not yeah, yeah. Even, like, I stopped like a mm-hmm. couple months ago, but when I do play it, that game just yep. gets under my skin, dude. I don't mm-hmm. know what to say. It just gets under it's my skin the like, way other games don't. Yeah. Yeah. What about I, w- you? I was going to say uh, Modern Warfare. Mm-hmm. Or like the one that just came out before mm-hmm. Cold War. Every time I would play a game yeah. online, I would just end up getting mad and stopping. So then I was like, I'm not playing this game anymore. Fun, oh, yeah. and I Funny story, it actually. Modern oh, yeah. Warfare claimed a monitor of mine. No. Yeah, I was 1v1ing <gasps> my friend. And he just bust out the shotgun and was just letting me have it. So I just sucked, I remember sucked my remember that. That was like, what, three, four years ago? No, that was like two, yeah, that was two years ago. Okay, two years ago. I remember that. I remember this dude sent me a picture, Sawyer, and his monitor is just literally shattered. He's like, <laughs> you don't want to know how this happened. <laughs> I punched it once and it didn't break, so I was like, oh, it's round it's two. strong. <laughs> round two, and it was like, oh. I just love how you had like a, it didn't break and you had time to think about it. <laughs> I was like... God was like, God was like, analyze your actions, and you're like, yeah, no, fuck that, <laughs> boom. God's like, are you sure you, you want to do this? I'm like, yes, I do. Are you sure that? And I That's punch it again. <laughs> nuts. What about you, Mike? What game makes you rage the most? Oh man, for me, oh man, MLB the Show or 2K. I sometimes I'm just swinging on cheese pitches all night, and I just can't stop. It's mm. really bad, and I don't know. That's just really what it is, and I don't like it. But what I would like is the three famous people or public figures dead or alive in your party chat you got three guys your favorite game in the chat with you the entire time you're playing who you picking skill doesn't mean a thing in this our boy harrison already answered this question actually he said jamal williams art because he's passionate and he's a lover i added that last part in myself (laughs) and lastly his buddy brandon who always is good for conversations it's a very wholesome list i like this Mm -hmm. and i kind of already had mine in mind and Harrison just made gave me my third. So number one, I'm going Dave Chappelle. Uh, he's the GOAT. He's the best comedian of all time. He's literally in Detroit right now. I would love to go see him, but Dave Chappelle stopped charging so much for tickets. Um, number two, it'd be Jeff Ross, because I need somebody with quick wit, right? Like somebody who could just roast the other guy real fast. Yeah. And then lastly, Jamal Williams, because that dude is a gem. And I would just <laughs> love to have him in the game chat. Yeah. For me, I'd probably go... 
Adam Sandler. Okay. Mm. Seth Rogen. And then... Make the shittiest movie ever with that <laughs> and party then, jet. Let's go with Tom Segura. Ooh, okay. Not bad. That's I like the Tom Segura edition there. Yeah. I would definitely... I would go... I'm definitely going Segura. That was the mm-hmm. first name that popped in my head. Just because yep. he's kind of quick. Yeah, he's, he's, funny, he's funny. He's funny. And then... Pat McAfee, because you know, choice. having family in Indiana and growing up watching the Colts, that dude's great, and he's just a great personality and so yeah. good. <laughs> and then for the last one, I'm having such a tough time with this one. Yeah, like half of me wants to say Bill Burr, okay. but the other half wants to say like Seth MacFarlane or oh. somebody like that, because Seth or, or uh, Trey Parker, one of the creators of South Park. Okay. Mm-hmm. It'd be between McFarlane or one of those guys. Okay, so... I'd probably go McFarlane. I yeah. was going to say Just Seth McFarlane. Because he's funny. He he consistently, like, family guy, Ooh. Ted, like, this guy doesn't miss. Harrison's thinking, too. Oh. Snoop Dogg, that would be a fun guy to have in okay. there. Oh, yeah. Who's he's getting, got some stories. Who's getting replaced with Snoop, though? I got I got a... Um, probably Jamal. Or, yeah. Or fuck your buddy, Brandon. <laughs> I put Snoop like, Dogg in there. He's been boys with this guy for like 30 years, and they're like brothers, and you're just like, screw hey, your friend, man. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> man, I, w- I would go with that. I think Seth MacFarlane would be an interesting addition. I don't know how funny he is, like, not pre-written, though. I feel like he probably is hilarious, though. I don't mm-hmm. know. Well, I feel like, like you just got to kind of let him get comfortable. You know, everybody let their personality set a little bit, and then once you start playing... I feel like once he starts being himself, he's probably mm-hmm. a pretty funny guy. Yeah. And like if if it was like my three and Snoop was in there too, like definitely Pat McAfee would be going after him, trying to make him laugh. Yeah. And so would Segura mm-hmm. and Seth McFarlane. Like they're all funny guys. So yeah. then he would just be going hard too. Yeah. It would so, work. So our our boy Harrison actually he did say screw my friend Har- uh, screw my friend <laughs> Brandon. Uh, Brandon. Is he can replaced. leave. Yeah. Doesn't fuck. really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, Sorry, Brandon. Not really that. And I love how he he replaced Brandon before he replaced Art. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, That's he said phenomenal. Art's a passionate guy. He's a passionate lover, as he said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that was a, a great little topic. And then last one, Eunice. You want to you wanna bring it up? One cheat code for life, what are you picking? Ooh. Mm. Does it have to be a, a cheat code like, that exists in a game that we can no. bring into real life? Or, okay. It can be anything. Um, okay. Probably the ability to like spawn anything in my mind. Spawn anything in your yeah. mind. You're like, okay, that's that's a very powerful thing. Yeah, too. that's a very powerful one. And would you have to trigger it, or like anything you thought of, it would just pop up? Does any? Does I have to will it into existence? Okay, you have to will okay. it. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say that could turn into a nightmare situation. Yeah. If, like it was kind of like everything you touch turns to gold. Like mm-hmm. you just start thinking, and then oh, just yeah. random stuff yeah, just falls random from the things. sky. And you're like, what is going on right now? <laughs> that's ep- just my thought. <laughs> that episode of Family Guy where Peter made everybody Robin Williams. Oh, dude, that <laughs> episode is so. And then he ends. He has no hands. And then you see Stewie on the roof smoking a cigarette. He's like, I'm done here. That's so great. I'd probably do flying. Oh, I don't know why. Yeah, just I just want to be up in the clouds. Just, just for fun. Just, yeah. just flying around. Save so much on travel, too. Yep. Like, wouldn't have to like carry a passport or anything. I guess yeah. maybe when I land, yeah. they'd be like, where's your passport? But don't mm-hmm. have to go to an airport and worry about all that stuff. Yeah, you can just so, land anywhere. Yeah. I like that option. Um, mine is going to be a little weird. I want that cheat uh, from GTA Liberty City where you could uh, make your car float on water. Ooh, um, yeah. I just want that. I don't know why. I think it'd be cool. Just buy a boat. Like, Yo, that, that <laughs> idiot is driving into the water. The car floats. The car floats? Whoa. You could be the first person to drive your car across the Atlantic I was going to say that. I or you could drive that. around the world. Yeah. There you go. You'd be in history mm-hmm. books. The man who drove around the world. Yeah, people would be like, ha, ha, how long does it take to drive to Germany? I'm like, I actually know. It's 12 hours. <laughs> but why happens if you run out of gas in the middle of the water? <laughs> Have you ever run out of gas in GTA? No. Exactly. <laughs> I never I, run I out of gas. I don't think gas is a thing in GTA. I have infinite gas. Okay. I that's mean, that's two, two, that's two cheat codes. Yeah, that's two cheat codes, codes Well, no, because the car automatically comes with but the, you the said, gas. But you said it's not an existing one. But it exists. Okay, I mean, sure. It's implied. <laughs> it just got confusing. <laughs> Mr. I can spawn anything has an issue with me getting <laughs> gas. <laughs> you got to make it realistic, man. Come on. <laughs> Why float when you can fly your car? I just like the ability of like I feel like I'd feel like such a badass just ripping through water. <laughs> just buy a boat. I'm Fourth of July. Everybody's see, out see, in their pontoons you had... <laughs> and you're just whipping down in the Ford. See now, Mike, you're not thinking. If you had my superpower, you could will in a car that drives on water. 
Oh, Ooh. see, you give yourself too much power. I do. But I, did. I, want a, <laughs> I want a simple life. I want a simple life. I just want a car that's a boat. See, but then you could just like not will anything if you want a normal life. Just, oh, just have a superpower like in the back of your just mind. It's like, oh yeah, like, what up, though? Uh, I love how I love when guys just come by our studio and they're very confused about what's going on. You just check them out. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah, no, that that was honestly, I'm just very, I really want this car that floats. I, I don't care about <laughs> anything else. Give me my car that floats and let me have a good life. That's a good superpower there. Oh yeah, not not better than mine. The cheat code, it just and it's any time. But the only thing with me in Liberty City was I would always um, not enter the cheat code right, so I'd sink my car. Mm. Um, so that's the issue I'm dealing with there. Then again, we live in Dearborn, insurance fraud, right, 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 right. right? So we're good at that. I think I think it would pull it off. Mm -hmm. I mean, that about wraps it up, boys. Um, we do have somebody who's a streamer, and they're doing the game that we were just talking about, right, sir? Yes, they are. Uh, up next, we have Noah Up Next, playing oh. Madden 22, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. yeah. Not really much else to say about it. I mean, yeah. he's grinding. He's up by a touchdown right now mm -hmm. in the second quarter. Got a minute 22 left, so there's plenty of time for you guys to slide on over. Nice, yep. nice. But it'll be a good stream. He's taking it all through the night, so right we'll see you there. Left foot slide. Yeah. And Sora, would you like to say goodbye tonight? Oh yeah, sure. I can I can say goodbye and okay. kick it over to the old streamer world. Yeah. But for me, over here in my producer booth, for uh, Mikey up there at the desk who says words and you know makes sentences and does stuff all night. And then for Eunice in the good old audio booth clicking a couple buttons and making sure we sound pretty. We appreciate you guys watching tonight. Have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow.